Hey, Bruce here with the Five Minute Handyman. I am working on some plumbing today, uh, some drain pipes specifically, and I wanted to show you how I put those together and talk a little bit about some of the things you have to think about when we're putting together drain lines. So let me show you some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. So I have this uh, small bathroom. It's a half bath down downstairs of a two-story house. And um, what I'm doing is I'm putting together the these fittings here. I've got um, uh, this pipe is where the, the trap is going to be from the sink. It's going to come in and it's going to drain down. Uh, and then this part is the vent. And each, each drain line that we have that has a trap has to have a vent uh, in order to let air in so it doesn't pull water out of the, out of the trap and let sewer gases back into the house. And so what I've got here is I've got three fittings that I need to attach. This pipe does not move. It is, it, it's going up into the, into the uh, ceiling and then there's uh, fittings up there. So this piece is, is solid. This piece goes down into the crawl space and this piece is solid. So I need to take this apart and put it back together without having to move these two pipes up and down. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but before I do that, what I, what I did here is I, I make a mark on the pipe and on the fitting to make sure that when I put these back together, they're going to line up. Because if I don't, if I, if I put these on crooked, uh, they, they won't line up and they won't fit inside of the, the, the wall. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, like I said, these, these are going to go like this. This pipe doesn't move, this pipe doesn't move, um, and so I can't, if I, if I started down here and did these joints, I wouldn't be able to get this pipe back up into here. And so what I need to do is I'm going to need to attach this piece here, attach these pieces, and then I can bring these two together. All right, so that's the procedure I'm going to use to put these, these pipes together. Now, um, the cement I'm using is a uh, regular PVC cement. These are PVC. If you're using black pipes, those are ABS. And uh, you have to just make sure that whatever your, your cement is is compatible with the type of pipe. Now you can buy a small can, you can buy a big can, and, and really the difference is, is if I'm doing pipes that are less than two inches in diameter, and this is an inch and a half, I'm going to use the smaller can because that has a smaller uh, applicator here. If I'm using pipes like a, like a three inch drain line, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a bigger can and that has a lot bigger applicator. And it just makes it quite a bit easier and quicker to get the surfaces um, coated correctly. All right, so I'm gonna first use a, this purple primer. And that, what that does is it primes the, the material and it also cleans it. And so I just wanna make sure I've got all my chips off of here and uh, what I'll do is I'm going to put the primer on the pipe and I want to go down far further than than the bottom here of of where my my joint is going to be and that's uh, two reasons one to make sure I get full coverage and also so that when the uh, inspector comes by he, he can clearly see that I've used purple primer to uh, to put on the joints because um, that's that's uh, part of the building code so then I'll, I'll take my cement and I'll put that around here I'll put it around on the inside I like to do both to make sure I get good coverage uh, this has to go this way so that the water is going to drain down here's my line it's my pencil line right here and what I want to do is I want to hold this down tight until it sets up and that takes about 10 seconds or so um, and then you could tell it's, it's pretty firm here so I, I can't I can't twist it anymore which is that's exactly what I want to do um, then I'm going to do this joint do this and this is this is one case where it's it's okay to be messy with the purple stuff because you want to make sure that it can be seen that you have used the right kind of primer and, and materials. 
Okay, so we're holding this down. Okay, that's firmed up, that's good. Now I'm gonna do this joint on here and then I can bring these together. Again, if I put this on first, there's no way for me to lift this pipe up. So it's just a, you just gotta kinda of think through this a little bit to make sure that we're doing things in the right order. All right, remember we wanna keep it above where the joint height is so that everyone can see that we use the right kind of primer. Put this on here and also inside of my joint. Okay, here's my two marks. Put these on. If I let this go, this pushes right out. Okay, so I just gotta have to hold it up tight. I wanna make sure that that's gonna line up right. So that looks good. Hold this for a couple of seconds. While I'm doing that, I'll put this purple stuff on here and inside of here. Put our adhesive cement in. Again, do both surfaces, make sure we get full coverage. And once we are confident we're set, we'll bring them together. Again, if I let go of it, see it's pushing, it's coming apart. That's because the inside of these fittings are tapered a little bit. And that's so that you make sure it, you get a very tight joint when you put the cement on it. Okay, so that should be, that should be good. So this is what now solid and secure, and I am done with this part of the process. So uh, if you like what I'm showing you, subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video. Uh, if there's other things you'd like to have me demonstrate how to do, uh, please leave some comments and I can see what I can do about getting those videos up. Thanks for watching.